Hi, I'm Chroma Doctor from Young and Chromas. We're going to work on the easiest maintenance tutorial for Aquapori system. Aquapori WPS requires no tools for maintenance. It's so easy to follow. This is the filter replacement schedule for Aquapori 5 series. It is recommended for the best performance and estimated by the use of 10 liters per day. It may differ depending on the feed water quality or the amount of average usage. You can check the filter lifetime through its color or the percentage shown on the right by clicking the filter on flow diagram. When the filter lifetime expires, the filter image gets flashing. You'd better get ready for the filter replacement when it's about 30 percentages left. You can change a desired filter one by one on the flow diagram. Or you can do it in batch by clicking indicated point to enter the filter window. It's efficient if you need to change desired filters more than two. Press the desired filters to be replaced. So, press the desired filters to change. And, press the filter change button. Then, the water in the filter will be drained. After water draining out of the filter, you need to replace the desired filters to change. This video includes the replacement of all kinds of filters available in Aquapori VF models. You only need to take the part of the desired one. Taking off the front door, there are a P-Pack 1, 3, and 4. Remove the desired filters to change. You can easily remove those filters by hand. Same as the removal of filters, install a new filter by inserting into two holes on the top and bottom. Make sure to insert the filter up to the end. On the right side of Aquapori system, there are a P-Pack 2, UV lamp, and UF filter. The removal and installation of a P-Pack 2 are same as other a P-Packs shown in the video. To replace UV lamp, untighten two screws on UV lamp holder by crosshead screwdriver. Pull out the holder to untighten the cap nut of UV lamp and unscrew the nut to take off the ground cable. Take off the used UV lamp with the gloved hand. Then replace it with a new one into the UV lamp housing. Tighten the cap nut and put the ground cable back. Screw the nut to fix it. Tighten two screws back to fix the UV lamp holder. For UF filter replacement, you need to disconnect the tubings first. The fitting is one touch fitting. You can press the upper fitting part to separate the tubings. Pull out the UV filter from its holder. Separate the lower tubing by pressing the fitting part. Get a new filter and assemble it back in reverse order. Insert the tubings up to the end of the fitting. Install the UV filter back into the holder and connect the upper tubing in the fitting. A P-Pack primary is installed on the left side of Aquapori system. Press the lower fitting part to separate the tubing. Then, do the same procedure on the upper fitting part. You need to take off the fitting parts from the pack. Pull them out with some kind of tweezers. You'll need them when you install a new pack. Remove the caps from the new pack. Install the fittings on each side of the pack. Make sure the direction of the upper fitting correctly. Connect the tubings back. After replacement of desired filters, press filter flush to fill water throughout the filters. 
This makes the system gets ready for operation. This takes around 5 to 15 minutes depending on the number of filters replaced. For the final filter replacement, you only need to remove and install it as shown in the video. It's required along with the replacement of a P-Pack 3 and 4. Easy. Huh?